We are here, we are here, we are here. On this amazing day. Okay, everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis. Disclaimer, I'm not a professional. Please watch these videos at your own risk. These videos for entertainment purposes only. Thank you. Okay, guys, we are marking up UPST. Look at what's going on in the market. Price action candle. Last candle in the market is a bearish candle. You can see that market's working its way down from an area of a high price action. Last candle in the market. Market goes up. We're looking for market to stop here at this high. Price goes down. We're looking for price to return back to the previous area of the low. In the middle, we do have a midpoint where we can currently see. Oh, I'm going to that a little over. Got the midpoint in the middle. Price like it's breaking the midpoint just a little bit. Um, price action, high is high, coming from an overall pattern from this area, which is the evening star, if I remember that right. So let's read what's going on in the market. So market came back from a low, pushed up to a high, came back for a retest, pushed up to a, again to that high, wasn't able to break that midpoint, came back to that midpoint, below the midpoint, <clears throat> create some momentum will finally push out. So once the market pushed out of that area, of that midpoint, market came back to finally return. So overall, this is the break and retest of the market breaking the midpoint, coming back to the midpoint. So we'll be looking for entry to see if it's gonna break up, break down, or continue sideways. What will happen near price, price pushed up to bullish candles. We gotta receive the doji. Doji is a sign of the market indecisive, don't know what it's gonna do. I have to wait for the next candle to form to see if the market's gonna go up and down. Second to last candle to the market was a huge engulfing bearish candle that pushed that market down. So we can clearly see the market's in a downtrend. But we are used to the market stopping at the midpoint, creating some momentum for that push up. So we have to wait to see if that market's maybe coming back down all the way to the areas of lows. Let's take a look at what's going on. Headed down to the weekly time frame. What, what do we have going on? <clears throat> Price action. <clears throat> Is a bearish candle look like it's trying to go up we don't fully know yet so what we're going to do is mentally i mean physically as well put this into an area of consolidation price action have that low and we could use the same area of resistance of that midpoint currently right here it's going to make it a little thicker we'll be waiting for the market to break out this area to the top side of the bottom side so let's read the market from where is it coming from once again okay on the weekly time frame so market pushed up, got one spike up, two spike up, three spikes up, market pushed down. So this is an overall pattern in this time frame of some type of triple top, one spike, two spike, three top spikes, or you can call it a double top and a retest. Also, it can be maybe a left shoulder, right shoulder, head, head and shoulders pattern. So we can see all three in one um, in the market push down. Let's read how many market pushed down, how many times the market pushed down. So let's say we got a double top and a retest. First, second, third, fourth, retest, market push down once. Retest with this doji, market push down twice. Retest again. Market's on the second push. Still have a few more pushes to go before that market breaks up or breaks down. So market's in the mid-range. We have to wait till the market do what it do. Because we don't know if the market's going to push up. And if we do see that market push up, we're waiting for this white candle and go off the previous red one. And we know that the market's going up for that uptrend. And also we'll be able to get the break of the resistance, the retest, and we look for the market to go up. So if that doesn't happen, we already know that the market's going to consolidate in this area until we finally get that break up to the upside or downside. And last but not least, overall structure with the double top of the retest, market push down once at the retest twice. So when the market breaks the midpoint as it currently did, we all look for that bullish candle which is price action candle right now to come back to return to this area so we can market can push down to further uh previous slows which will be a break and retest of that resistance the market drops down so those are things that you guys will be looking for for that market to do what it do but we still need more time for that market to take its time to do what it do so uh checking out upst on a daily time frame so what's going on here is um 
so far, I mean, we have a decline W, which is in this structure here. So we have that first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg. So we really don't know what Mark is going to do. Mark is still need more time to form. It's still in that overall huge consolidation. But near price in the daily, what did we receive? We did receive the break of the support, turn to resistance. Market came back to return. We look at the entry here, and the market pushed down. So now market like is back to back, going back to return to the previous highs again. So basically, that market is in that consolidation. We still have to wait for that market to break out, break down. So we're gonna let this market do what it do until it breaks out this top side and push up. But so far, price action does look like it is working its way up, back up to this high area. Don't know where it's gonna stop at. We had to choose a point maybe about right here. A few more pips to go. We've got to figure out what's gonna happen. Overall structure, if you guys are waiting for the breakout, you'll be waiting for the breakout for the resistance, come back and return, take it to the next level. We don't know when that's gonna happen yet, so we gotta keep on watching the market. Or well, currently the market can continue sideways or that market could get some type of doji in this area, or we can do, that's gonna push that market down for a follow-up with a retest, the market breaks down further. Headed down to the four hour. I mean, we can see that consolidation, market is basically consolidating in this area here. Let's see if we can find some patterns. Red coming down, first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg. Okay, we see that W formation, still have to figure out what's gonna happen here, we're gonna get that break and retest. Uh, the resistance that we are currently at now for the market to push up is it going to continue to consolidate or it's going to push down so the market structure is really the same for the daily and the four hour headed down to the three and okay, we got extension extended candles headed down to the two three to two is still looking the same the one we did get a third candle pushing up so th just to figure out what's going on in this market here with this area um, can't remember what this just patterns call three white soldiers, probably. But this structure here basically, market was strong enough to dominate what this can do with the previous area, which pushed that market up. But as we see that market is going up, what's happening with the the last two candles in the market? Price action candle and the previous candle is getting smaller. So let's say this candle is at about 100%. The next one's about 75%. The next one's about 25%. So we can see that market's losing momentum. Maybe a drop down. If not, then we'll be able to see some type of push. But market is working its way up so far. We don't really know how far it's going to go. we would probably be tagging somewhere in this area here if the price goes up. So it could be in an area of consolidation of some type of zone in this area. So this could be it. The market could drop back down. Or it could you know, do what it do in this area for the market to form some patterns so we can figure out what's going on. Headed down to the one. Okay, so we got a retest. So market pushed up, came back to retest. Got another engulfing pattern. So far with the structure of walking down to four to three to two to one, market showing is working its way up. And we got a retest for uh, at the second to last candle. Headed down to the 45. Extension of candles, market pushing up. 30. See the retest engulfing market still pushing up, showing showing markets going up on these lower time frames. Retest on the 15, so we're looking for some type of engulfing pattern after that candle on the 15 minute. Headed down to the five consolidation on the five. Okay, so market pushed up, break broke out, came back to return. Second to last candle is a um, stabilizing candle with it, which a le which has a leg of some major leg of support can be strong enough to push that market up depends if we get that white candle it's going to engulf the previous second to last candle that's going to push that market up headed down to the three we still can see that we can now we can see a w first second third fourth but we got the break market came back to return market's like pushing his pushing his way up so far still got a lot to go it's still in a huge area of consolidation in those lower time frames overall structure in this area here with the receive one spike up two spikes up Maybe three retest, so some type of double top retest or triple top retest. Market pushed down once, and the market's working its way back up after that midpoint. So we can clearly see that market's in that uptrend for the lower time frames. Okay, guys, very important information. Please study and review Forex Pattern Cheat Sheet. Click on Images. Very important information, guys. Please study and review Breakdown Retest Strategies. Help you out with the market. Okay, guys, this is Cam Jones.